the order of precedence, uh, each of the candidates has 10 minutes, uh, and I suspect they won't take that long to make opening remarks. Uh, we then have questions, and we actually have got lots of questions. Somewhere around 8 o'clock, we'll take a 10-minute 10, uh, 10 minute break, and we'll carry on with questions, and at the end of the evening, each candidate has five minutes to wrap up. So without further ado, I'm going to start off on the left with Ms. Cormier. Uh, I am Alicia Cormier, and I'm proud to be your NDP candidate in Saanich Gulf Islands. Many of you will know me. I've uh, lived on the peninsula since 1969. I raised my family here, and I've worked and volunteered in the area for over 30 years. We will reverse the liberal and conservative tax cuts for banks and large corporations by increasing the corporate income tax rate from 15% to 17%, which is still below the G7 average and below the average during Stephen Harper's time as Prime Minister. With, without a whipped vote on important matters, voters have absolutely no idea whether they'll get what they were promised. The, um, the NDP does have a, a food strategy that would be um, supportive of labeling GMOs, and it would also be supportive of encouraging uh, local food production. The Conservative government has done nothing to act on climate change. They have withdrawn from Kyoto. Um, we are now at the bottom of the industrialized um, countries in terms of, of where we stand in our efforts to reduce emissions. We need to get it on track. The NDP will do this. After decades of being told that we have no choice, that, we're t that when we're tired of the liberal sponsorship scandal, we have to alternate back to the Conservatives. This isn't true. For the first time in our history, we, there is another viable choice. The NDP is offering a different vision for Canada and our community. We will take real action on climate change, establish a fairer voting system for the next election, and we will rescind conservative legislation that has stripped protection of our environment and our democratic rights. We will build meaningful partnerships with First Nations, and we will invest in communities, families, and your retirement security. Thank you. I'm Tim Kane, your federal liberal candidate here in Saanich Gulf Islands. And you know, over the course of my working life, I've had many jobs. I've worked on an assembly line, I've been a public servant, and I've created companies and seen them grow. For 25 years, my company, Delta Media, created many jobs for many Canadians. But of all the jobs I've ever done, the one I'm applying for now is the most important of all. Of all. And that's the job of representing you, the people and businesses of Saanich Gulf Islands. Our plan for taxation will stop sending universal child tax benefits to millionaires. And instead, we'll focus our, that, the money we save there on those who really need help. A liberal plan will immediately take 300,000 children out of poverty. That's what fairness in taxation can do. Liberals also understand the importance of a thriving small business sector. And therefore, we will lower the business tax rate down to 9%. This will give small business a little extra breathing room as they pre prepare to grow to respond to the Liberal plan for the largest investment in infrastructure in Canadian history. The Liberal plan is that we will have no more whipped votes, but with, up, with very few exceptions, and those will be on financial matters. We're also going to reduce and then ultimately eliminate subsidies to the oil sector on tar sands projects. Food labeling is, is vital, and that more detailed food labeling is very important. If there are going to be genetically modified foods, as there are already in our food chain, then let's identify them and let's have a choice uh, as consumers on which ones we choose to purchase. After I tell folks about our plan, quite often, I'm asked the question, what's the most important issue in this election? 
And thinking about that, it comes down to trust is the most important issue in this election. Canadians have lost trust in their government. There have been times when citizens have disagreed, have disapproved, have even been dis deeply disappointed in their governments. But this is the first time in my experience when I've seen the Canadians completely distrust their Prime Minister. Justin Trudeau is ready to bring real change to Canada. And I'm ready to bring real change to Saanich Gulf Islands. Not just to speak for you and us in Ottawa, but to bring real change here and to get action on affordable housing for veterans, for climate change, for health care, for seniors, and for our businesses. On October the 19th, when you mark your ballot, I hope you'll ask yourself, what kind of Canada do I want? If you want a better Canada, then I'm your choice here in Saanich Gulf Islands. Thank you very much. I've come before you many times in the last four years for town hall meetings. I love our town hall meetings, twice a year in Brentwood Bay and in eight other locations throughout Saanich Gulf Islands. Uh, many of you have come, I recognize your faces, I know you've come and I've started by saying this is a nonpartisan meeting, whether you voted for me or not, you're welcome to this meeting, I'm here to report to you on what I've been doing in Parliament and hear from you about your concerns. So now we have a moment where I'm actually standing before you in a partisan meeting. Guess what? I was much more comfortable in the nonpartisan meeting where I reported to you as the person who works for you in Parliament who's here to tell you what I've been doing and ask for your advice about what I should be doing next. But we're in an election campaign and I have to ask for your support because I want to continue working for you. You know, you realize how Stephen Harper has a long-range plan when you realize that in Bill C-38 in the spring of 2012 among all the savaging of environmental laws in that omnibus budget bill, one change that I wondered, why is he doing this? It's a bad idea, but why? Why eliminate the Inspector General for CSIS? You know, three years later we found out. Spring of 2015, we see Bill C-51 taking CSIS from being a, an intelligence gathering agency only to being a secret police with no oversight. The Inspector General for CSIS was the oversight and it was removed in Bill C-38 in the spring of 2012. I went to law school, I worked in government, I worked in a law firm, and ultimately for 17 years I was Executive Director of the Sierra Club of Canada. And I would probably be there still if I hadn't decided in 2006 that Stephen Harper had become Prime Minister of Canada by accident and I'd better do something about it. The U.S. government, for reasons of security, has a no-go zone surrounding all such movements of several kilometers. No fishing boats, no recreational boats, no nothing. They regard LNG tankers as a terrorist target because if anything happens to them, they don't leak gas or oil or bitumen the way the tankers we oppose from Kinder Morgan would do. They blow up. Now, the way the Green Party sees the role of a Member of Parliament, we find the job description for Member of Parliament in one place only, and that's the Constitution of Canada, which says that a Member of Parliament represents his constituency, or her constituency. Now, I've, I take that to heart, and that means the Green Party has a policy which says we will never whip a vote in the Green Party. We absolutely insist on genetically modified organisms in our food products being labeled. That's key and we would work very, very diligently to ensure that we develop better standards against the rapid commercialization of GMO products. We know that farmers don't want GMO wheat. Farmers don't want GMO, uh, GMO alfalfa. Monsanto wants those things and it's time to realign the policies of Agriculture Canada towards healthy food for Canadians. We've got a lot to fix from the things Stephen Harper has broken over the last nine, ten years. And one of them has been a steady denigration of the role of science in Environment Canada, in Health Canada, in Fisheries and Oceans. So we've allocated $75 million a year every year to rebuild scientific capacity in the Government of Canada. We need to unmuzzle scientists 
and this is also connected to a democratic reform, if I can spread this out a little bit longer, Ian, we really need to curtail the illegitimate and dangerous powers of the Prime Minister's office. Gagging scientists, which was an order, a directive that came from PMO down through John Baird when he was Minister of Environment, told Environment Canada scientists they weren't allowed to speak to the news media unless they had permission from the Minister's office. This is unprecedented. This happened in 2007. So yes, child care spaces, but we also have this wrinkle that we prefer, if, wherever it makes sense, to have workplace child care, and we will pay for it. We're looking at a minority parliament. It's very likely on every poll there's a tight three-way race among the three bigger parties. If you want to have a member of parliament and a party in Ottawa that will change a fractious, partisan, sniping, two-year, one-year minority parliament and convert it into a four-year, productive, respectful workplace, I know I can do as your member of parliament in a minority parliament, is work across party lines and insist on some key non-negotiable items. One, no tankers on our coastline shipping bitumen and diluent to other countries for refining no bitumen on our coastlines. <laughs> Two, and this should be easy to do because both the Liberals and the New Democrats have said they're ready for it. Let's make sure 2015 is the last election held under the perverse voting system called First Past the Post. Let's move to proportional representation. Three, I can't work with any party prepared to form government if they're not prepared to repeal immediately Bill C-51. It must be repealed as soon as possible. Those are the things that I will insist upon in a collaborative approach with the leaders of the other parties in a minority parliament. So you will know that the member of Saanich Gulf Islands is working for you, making a larger difference than any MP wearing another color could possibly achieve. Thank you.